I'm ready for one. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and Xenos of all species. Tonight, we have a wonderful Shirati telling us bedtime stories so that we can all go to bed and dream good dreams of political correctness. You are such a dork. <laughs> Shut up. It's if story never, time. We can all go to bed Oops. and dream good dreams. I didn't mute my stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I even told her to do that. Oh, you, you also had the stream live as well. How, how dare yes. you be? How dare you do what everyone here has also done? <laughs> right. As I was saying, um, thankfully, Shirati is going to be reading us some absolutely glorious stories. If you've never actually listened to any of her stories, please go and watch her channel. She has, um, yeah, she has some very interesting little videos on there. If you'd like to shield yourself, you go ahead, Shirati. Ah, uh, anybody who knows of my story time shows uh, can check out my channel. It's, well, my channel. <laughs> yeah, it's a teeny, 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 tiny, and my story time channel or my story time videos are fun. Oh, do you, do you want a web page? No, yeah. I don't want a fucking web page. Oh, yeah, give her one. So <laughs> I don't want one. No, it, it it requires joining a guild. It's a cult. I don't want. It's I don't want to join a cult. I, I. Uh, Charati, there's nothing wrong with a cult. What Memes is trying to get you into is a furry cult. They're completely different on more. I, I could not view that from the United States. Brussels had us blocked. Oh, okay. <laughs> it still had the outline of said furry, but the link, the link preview showed it. But for some reason, that was cut out. I, I found it rather strange. Um, um, one other thing before we start the story time. Memes. Buddy. Friend. What's this about you dating my sister? You want to come talk to me about this or what, man? <laughs> oh. We're uh -huh. dating? Well. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I like gazelles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on here, memes. I mean, just earlier on, B said she would be my incubator. Well, I, I feel very slighted here. Are Are you a turtle? <laughs> God no. Are you sure? You, you You got some shine to your shell. You saying you bald? You. That's not cool, dude. My apologies. It was a low blow voice. I spoke words. Yes, yes, you did. So you're admitting that you are now actually dating my sister. You don't tell me this. I thought we were friends, man. What go on, my nigga? Come on. <laughs> this is taking an interesting turn. Uh huh. Wow, you've become a su oh, oh, look, a book. <laughs> I like books. Um, Jensen, this seems to be a recent development. Um, my apologies if you're offended was not my intention. <laughs> okay, well, you know, just watch yourself, dude. She's dangerous, okay? I... You have to call him brother now. Thank you. Oh, oh, there's added benefits. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Hey, Seth. All right. So, anybody who couldn't see that because I was using my phone, it's political, politically correct bedtime stories, modern tales for our life and times by James Finn Garner. It's a satirical 
satirical collection of politically correct bedtime stories. Uh, just want to point out something, Sharadi, Sh- before you go any further. Don't mm-hmm. yawn when you're starting your story. <laughs> I always yawn. It's a proven technique. <laughs> Aw, Cabby. Which one of us are you calling a slag? Mames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, we should we should have Cabby read to us. Oh, oh God. God. I, 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 does anyone else suck at this? I'm no. sorry, Mames. No. I know all Cabby's stories. They all end up with you dying in some way. <laughs> yes, yes. In Somehow I think ways. that... Somehow, I think this story may not be that different, but I think just the sheer fact of Cabby reading it, and as he reads it, he's like, "What? What is this?" And Sir Cabbage Lawrence here. <laughs> what? You guys know exactly how it would go. Cabby would give it his own twist. <laughs> oh. oh yes, yes, he would. Oh, come on, Cubby can't even code. Do you think he can read? <laughs> <laughs> he he has eyes. Just eyes. No brain. No, I've seen the doll. It has eyes. <laughs> I don't know about hands, so coding may be difficult. Well, they're teeny, teeny, tiny hands. <laughs> he, he's not the president. He's a lovable scamp. We, we need to use that word more. Yes. He's a happy-go-lucky scamp. At least that's what he says. For, for young folks that are getting scapegoated, just start using scamp. Just be like, oh, they were, they were kids. They were, they were little scamps. <laughs> and I think it's a word that holds enough weight where it's like some folks, I, to be fair, I don't even know what a scamp is. Well, it's like this memes. The last time Cobby was a scamp, the French were surrendering for the first time. Hot <laughs> take. <laughs> D- depending on how you define French, that, that could be a really long time ago. I think defining French just is a white flag. Well, as long yeah. as we have potatoes, we'll be fine. Oh, is that why the uh, UK and France get along? Ace, Dodge is alive. He's just buried in a pile of snow. Kidnapped by aliens and raped by Bigfoot. Uh, yep, he was aliens. Uh, he, he would probably enjoy the raping of by Bigfoot. But oh, the story... Those are merely the opinions. Specifically for B. Sorry? I said this story was picked out specifically for B. Yay! Are we going to do the story? I was She's getting a drink. A s- Rapunzel. Tangle. There once lived an economically disadvantaged tinker and his wife. His lack of material accomplishment is not meant to imply that all tinkers are economically marginalized, or that if they are, they deserve to be so. While the archetype of the tinker is generally the whipping person in class, classical bedtime stories, this particular individual was a tinker by trade and just happened to be economically disadvantaged. The tinker and his wife lived in a little hovel next to the modest estate of a local witch. From their window, they could see the witch's meticulously kept garden, a nauseating attempt to impose human notions of order onto nature. The wife of the tinker was pregnant, and as she gazed at the witch's garden, she began to crave some of the lettuce she saw growing there. She begged the tinker to jump the fence and get some for her. Why does the it have to be lettuce? finally submitted. <laughs> and at night... <laughs> He jumped the wall and liberated some of the lettuce. But before he could get back, the witch caught him. 
Now this witch was very kindness impaired. This is not meant to imply that all or even some witches are that way, nor to deny this particular witch her right to express whatever disposition came naturally to her. Far from it. Her disposition was without doubt due to many factors of her upbringing and socialization, which unfortunately must be omitted here in the interest of brevity. As mentioned earlier, the witch was kindness impaired and the tinker was extremely frightened. She held him by the scruff of the neck and asked, Where are you going with my lettuce? Actually, she, she actually asked, Where is that Aku coming from? Is there an echo? Oh, I, I think uh, your speakers are bleeding through. On it. Uh, oh, just continue. Miss Shreddy. Mm -hmm. The tinker might have argued with her over the concept of ownership and stated that the lettuce rightfully belonged to anyone who was hungry and had nerve enough to take it. Instead, in a degrading spectacle, he pleaded for mercy. It was my wife's fault, he cried in a characteristically male manner. She is pregnant and has a craving for some of your lovely lettuce. Please spare me. Although a single parent household is certainly acceptable, please don't kill me and deprive my child of a stable two parent family structure. The witch thought for a moment, then let go of the tinker's neck and disappeared without a word. The tinker gratefully went home with the lettuce. A few months later, and after agonizing pain that a man will never really be able to appreciate, the tinker's wife gave birth to a beautiful, healthy pre-woman that's exactly how it sounds to spell -woman. yeah w-o-m-m-o-n pre-woman they Pretty named... sure men and women can both sympathize <laughs> with each other because a woman has been hit in the tit and a man has been kicked in the nuts it hurts it is not the same pain Wait, I don't, I, I, I'm not sure those are equivalent. No. I don't know. You ever been kicked in the nuts memes where you puke? I I went to do a Bronco Buster to one of my buddies, and he raised his size 16, and I crashed into it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, that's all I was... Sorry. He, Go ahead, Shred. He, he rolled over <laughs> in pain at looking at me, and I kind of laughed at him. <laughs> they named the baby Rapunzel. After a type of lettuce. Not long after this, the witch appeared at their door, demanding that they give her the child in return for the witches, having spared the tinker's life in the garden. What could they do? Their powerless station in life had always left them open to exploitation, and this time they felt they had no alternative. They gave Rapunzel to the witch who had spared their lives, and... Who I really don't know why they didn't. Do uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but seriously, why couldn't the tinker not just to kill the bitch? <laughs> he he didn't equip himself properly. He went out without his equipment. If he had his flashbangs and no much death ray, he would have been fine. Oh come on, he was a man. <laughs> a man can easily <laughs> defeat a woman. It, 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 he was a tinker. He didn't have his gadgets. And she it's like Inspector Gadget. It's like Inspector Gadget with no gadgets. It's like go go. Oh, and wow. she had magic privilege. This, this is true. <laughs> she was a part of that community. Oh, God. The witch took the child deep into the woods and imprisoned her in a tall tower, the symbolism of which should be obvious. There, Rapunzel grew into womanhood. The tower with no doors or stairs, but it did boast a single window at the top. Only, uh, the only way for anyone to get to the window was for Rapunzel to let down her long, luxurious hair and climb it to the top, the symbolism of which should be obvious. Uh, again, I, I, don't w I don't wish to interrupt, but there is, was another way uh, to get out of the tower if she could have jumped. Well, wait, couldn't she just have tied the 
top of her hair to the rail and like scaled down and then yeah, yes, it was long enough and then me, just she'd hang herself. But no no, no, she practiced first voice. I mean you she could do it on the inside <laughs> of the tower and then you go to the outside. You work your way up. Come on, not everyone's an expert when they just first start and if her hair is long enough she just snips it at the bottom. It can be a standard, I don't know, eighteen inches or so. Leave it up to this bunch of goofballs to poke holes yes. in the story. Miss Sherrod, yes, I have a question. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry to have to me up, but, but have you been on the internet? That's what we do. Yes, Miss B. I want to know which hair she let down. <laughs> her, 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 her luxurious but, hair. So not her pew? The witch was Rapunzel's only companion. Ah, she would so stand at the everything. foot of. <laughs> she would stand at the foot of the tower and shout, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair that I might climb your golden stair." Rapunzel obediently did as she was told. Thus, for years, she let her body be exploited for the transportational needs of another. Sure. Which... Uh, uh, <laughs> was that the only thing that was exploited? <laughs> the witch uh, loved music and taught Rapunzel to sing. They passed many long hours singing together in the tower. Uh, so no. Well, if you ever watched Once Upon a Time... Rapunzel's father was Captain Hook. <laughs> so she's French. One day, a young prince rode near the tower and heard Rapunzel singing. But as he rode closer to find the source of the lovely sound, he spied the witch and hid himself and his equine companion in the trees. He watched as the witch called out to Rapunzel. The hair fell down and the witch climbed up. Again, he heard the beautiful singing. Hang on a Later, minute. Later, yes. Did he hide the horse in the trees? <laughs> yes. How did he get the horse up there? <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, the horse. The horse was galloping, unless it was a, a terrain that I'd have to walk through. He said he hid the horse in the trees. How did he get a horse up there? I have questions about this. Oh, I, I assume he was. A, he actually meant forest. I'm assuming he used a horse launcher. Ah. Hang on. Are we sure Rapunzel wasn't actually, you know, letting the horse climb up? <laughs> well, we need to be uh, equine inclusive. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Later, when the witch finally exited the tower and disappeared in the other direction, the prince came out of the woods and called up. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair that I might climb your golden stair. The hair cascaded from the window and he climbed up. When the prince saw Rapunzel, her greater than average physical attractiveness and her long luxurious hair led him to think in a typical lookist way that her personality would also be beautiful. This is not to imply that all princes judge people solely on their appearance, nor to deny this particular prince his right to make such assumptions. Please see the disclaimers in the paragraphs above. I, the I, I said, think the chat's on to it. <laughs> the prince said, Oh, beautiful damsel, I heard you singing as I rode by on my horse. Please sing for me again. Rapunzel didn't know what to make of this person, since she had never seen a man up close before. He seemed a strange creature, large, hairy in the face, and possessing a strong, musky odor. For reasons she could not explain, Rapunzel found this combination somewhat attractive and opened her mouth to sing. Stop right there! screamed a voice from the window. The witch had returned. How, how did you get up here? Rapunzel asked. I had an extra set of hair made in case of emergency, said the witch matter-of-factly. Like you do. <laughs> well, but yeah. no, no, she, but, but if she was outside the <laughs> tower, how did... 
Wh- what? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> she, she's a witch. Just cast a spell. Cast fly on yourself for 60 seconds. You'll be fine. It's like, what? It, I don't know. No. It, this seems wrong. And this certainly looks like one. Listen to me, Prince. I built this tower to keep Rapunzel away from men like you. I taught her to sing, training her voice for years. She'll stay here and sing for no one but me because I'm the only one who truly loves her. We can talk about your codependency problems later, said the prince, but first let me hear Rapunzel, is it? Let me hear Rapunzel sing. No! screamed the witch. I'm going to throw you from the tower into the thorn of color bushes below so that your eyes will be gouged out and you'll wander the countryside cursing your bad luck for the rest of your life. You may want to reconsider that, said the prince. I have some friends in the recording industry, you see, who would be very interested in Rapunzel, wasn't it? Uh, Different kind of catchy, I suppose. I knew it. You want to take her from me. No, no. I want you to continue to train her, to nurture her as her manager, said the prince. Then, when the time is right, say a week or two, you can unleash her talent on the world and we can all break in the cash. He's okay, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Um, now, the witch, to me, is already Crazy Eyes Cortez. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we need to be inclusive. I'm sorry. Why didn't the knight just, you know, chop off the witch's head? It's a prince. and She doesn't have gold in her skull. Doku! Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry for I'm, uh, being late. Just got home. <sighs> oh, oh, we could use Doku's beard. His butt Wait, hair. what are you volunteering my beard for? We can use his hey, butt hair. We, we, we want to climb your brownish step. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Now, don't, don't get me excited. That's, that's just kinky talk right there. <laughs> the, the witch paused for a second to think about this, and her demeanor visibly softened. She and the prince began to discuss record contracts and video deals, as well as possible marketing ideas, including lifelike Rapunzel dolls with their very own miniature stereo tune towers. She means as that Rapunzel. <laughs> well, well, you need as accessories. Rapun- mm-hmm. Yeah. As Rapunzel watched, her suspicions turned into revulsion. Her years, her hair, had been exploited, or four years, her hair had been exploited for the transportational needs of others. Now they wanted to exploit her voice as well. <sighs> so rapaciousness. Mm. Oh dear, god damn it. <clears throat> Does not depend solely on gender. She realized with a sigh, Rapunzel edged her way to the window, and without being seen, she stepped out and climbed down the second set of hair to the prince's waiting horse. She dislodged the hair and took it with her as she rode off, leaving the wind. Uh, how? The no, she'd be at the bottom. <laughs> this is the same problem. To argue about royalties and percentages in their phallus-shaped tower, Rapunzel rode to the city and rented a room in a building that had real stairs. She later established the building, or the nonprofit foundation, for the pre or free proliferation of music and cut off all of her hair for a fundraising auction. She sang for free in coffee houses and art galleries for the rest of her days, always refusing to exploit for money. 
<sighs> so she started BitTorrent. No, no, and she didn't other people's any of her talents to at all. hear her sing. It, I, I mean, she could have made a lot of money and probably fed starving children and stuff too, I guess. But exploitation is bad. Oh, that darn capitalism. We need bread lines. Don't, remember what Bernie said. When, when people are lining up for bread, it's a good thing. It means it's working. Or if we didn't have the regulation the that you a need witch a... in a phallic shaped tower. Did, did she give them extra hair? No. She took the extra hair. So what but... happened to the prince? He got left in a phallic shaped tower with a witch. Bam chicken wow wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kinky. Oh, uh, nice. I, 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 oh, oh, oh. He learned to love somebody he wasn't fond of. I guess that's a good Wait, story. So, so he got left in a monument to the patriarchy. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did yeah, he rule I the have... rest of the land from this phallic-shaped tower? Uh, who knows? Probably, though, because he was a prince. Either that or his guards came and uh, chopped the prick down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, like the, uh, I like the idea of an, a king ruling the land from a gigantic tower shaped like a dick. Well, isn't, that, <laughs> what, isn't that what Sar Sauron did? MC Prince I guess an uncircumcised dick, you could say that. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with having a sheath. You're going I mean, to I don't know. Talking, talking about the Tower of Sauron, that's a pretty... Uh, well, might that's be a, a big eye. Oh, it might be a slightly deformed sheath, but I guess it, guess it works. Oh, it, it can see very far. That's a big reach. Uh, right, I'll never boys. be able to watch The Lord of the Rings the same way again. The one-eyed fiery snake. Hey, hey <laughs> you got to remember, Doku. People ruin everything. Well, this is true. I can't deny that. In the words of Shandor, everybody's an asshole. You're an asshole. I'm an asshole. She's an asshole. They're an asshole. We're all assholes. I, I thought that was a song. It is a Probably song. Probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we got confirmation. No, no, the asshole song. It's like... I'm an asshole. He's an asshole. Oh, yeah, that is a song. Every Didn't time I used to pop into line chat, somebody would always send me a link to it. Didn't Magic Bollocks do a cover version of that? Did he? I don't know. Mm -hmm. He did. I, oh. I, I'm going to have to check. Um, I, I miss Bollocks. What it was, was it was meant to be Ogre and RPR were going to record their own version, but then didn't. We, we should do that. Let's make music. <sighs> All right. So, which one's next, boys? You didn't do Chicken Little yet, did you? I just got done finished with I, the I was Rapunzel. promised Pied Piper. No. Oh, no. no. This is I, the last thing I was told. I was disappointed I, when you said Rapunzel, and then it had a happy ending. I said we are not doing the Pied Piper of Hamlin unless Dodge shows up. Oh, my vote goes for Chicken Little. We, 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 no, we're doing a, a social science experiment. You're welcome, Cabby. Uh, say his name twice more. <laughs> Mad Dodge? Oh, yeah, he's yes. the one in live chat. Is he? Yep. Oh, go oh. socks. <laughs> we didn't even have to say his name three times. Shit. Dodge is actually in No, chat. Cabby is. Cabby oh, is. Cabby. damn. I thought you meant Cabby's Dodge. been here since the beginning. I know. That's what I was trying to tell means. We, we should it's have just... Cabby read the next one. Have him read Chicken Little. Somehow I think he can identify with that character. I have the fucking book in my hands. He can't read it unless I send it. We him. have the internet. We no, have memes, the tools. Memes, he can't read Chicken Little because we all know the ending. Deep fried or extra crispy. 
I, I, I prefer popcorn personally, but hold on, wait, wait, wait. One question: We're we're not getting rid of the chickens, right? So far, so far, um, AOC hasn't said anything against chickens, so I'm guessing they're safe. That you know of. For now. Yeah, it worries me. So McDonald's bad, but Chick Fil A good. Gotcha. Well, McDonald's <laughs> has chicken. Okay, so seventy-five percent of the McDonald's menu is bad. The other twenty-five percent is all right. No, no, they they've changed it, but it's the memetic's still there. No, actually, yeah, close enough. A hundred percent of it is bad. It just it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it a really fair point. Doesn't. I I like Big Macs. I. Yes, yes. Even as a child, my dad usually he would try to like throw me off. He'd be like, "We're going to BK McDonald's." He's like, "Oh, that's I'm saying Burger King in little kid language, but I'm actually going to Burger King." And I was like, "No, McDonald's." Come to find out, there was a lawsuit against them uh, that they were putting uh, sugar glaze on their buns on anything that was going to a kid, and apparently, kids like sugar, and they were told to stop doing that. That's kind of how we're... Oh, no, but I was going to say, uh, uh, I, I, I like McDonald's breakfast. I hate McDonald's usual other shit. They have McDonald's fucking amazing hash browns. Shit. Those shit is ridiculous. Oh, you have to eat it fast, though. Yeah, you do. You, you have 15 minutes, and then it's it's better than 15? What kind okay, of McDonald's you... do you have? Okay, okay. Not for that, here, five that, minutes. That, that, was, that was in... Okay, well, I we, we got some good folks here. Uh, did you see in the UK the touch screens in McDonald's? All of them had feces on them. Yeah, yeah I remember Ew. seeing that report. You, you you do realize of the people here right now, there's a good chance that at least fifty percent of us have feces if we were to actually test our cell phones. Uh, Probably. I don't. I wipe my ass properly, and I clean we're, my phone. Often. We're talking. We're talking about you micro traces, and that's and that's. That's why I made my statement at at least probably fifty percent. I have feces, but they're not feces. Oh well, some folks are a little bit more anal about some things than others. <laughs> Honey, you're SSM. really doing an anal joke. No, 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 oh. SSM. I was trying to include you. Fuck <laughs> <Are> you! <laughs> no, you struck me as the type of guy that's a bit more cleanly. I, I can be a complete slob. Not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, I shower only once a week, to tell you what? the truth. What? It's not that bad of a thing. I, I, I thought, smell bad. Every day. No, no, I thought that was because of your climate, and I thought you went swimming. Yeah, well, yeah, well the swim pools aren't open yet. It's still kind of cold, man. It's going to snow one more time. Actually, it's getting ready to snow right now. If you have water supplies, you you may want to do do it a little more often. Mm -hmm. okay. I got to go. No, but Sharati, how's it going over there? It's got to be cold as hell. No, not really. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad it's not too cold anymore. Jeez, it was getting nasty. I saw some of that uh door frame freaking frozen shut. Well, well, you have to remember. Uh, uh straight me meal. Borg can live in deep space. So no, you... fuck off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. All right, shut up. Continue. All right. Chicken Little lived on a winding country lane surrounded by tall oak uh, trees. Sorry, Shirley, but I, I, I was away for about five minutes. Or, uh, did the prince get some? He got it on with the lesbian witch. Nice. <laughs> now, it should be mentioned here that the name Little was a family name, not a derogatory size-based nickname. It was only by sheer coincidence that Chicken Little was also of shorter than average height. One day, Chicken Little was playing in the road when a gust of wind blew through the trees, 
an acorn was blown loose and hit Chicken Little squarely in the head. <clears throat> now, while Chicken Little had a small brain in the physical sense, she did use it to the best of her abilities. So when she screamed, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, her conclusion was not wrong or stupid or silly, only logically under-enhanced. Chicken Little ran down the road until she came to the house of her neighbor, Henny Penny, who was tending her garden. This was a simple task since she didn't use any insecticide, herbicide, or fertilizer and also permitted the native non-edible varieties of wildflower, some branded, well, weeds, to mingle with her food crops. So lost amid the foliage, Henny Penny heard Chicken Little's voice long before she saw her. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Henny Penny stuck her head out from the garden and said, Chicken Little, why are you carrying on so? Chicken Little said, I was playing in the road when a huge chunk of the sky fell and landed on my head, see? Here's the bump to prove it. There's just one thing to do, said Henny Penny. What's that, said Chicken Little. Sue the bastards, said Henny Penny. <laughs> Chicken Little was puzzled. Sue for what? Personal injury, discrimination, intentional infliction of emotional distress, <laughs> negligent inflection of emotional distress, Tortious interference, the tort of outrage, you name it, we'll sue for it. Good gracious, said Chicken Little. What will we get for all of that? <clears throat> you can get payment for pain and suffering, compensatory damages, punitive damages, disability and disfigurement, long-term care, mental anguish, impaired earning, <coughs> impaired earning power, loss of esteem, person, oh, person, said Chicken Little joyfully. Who are we going to sue? Well, I don't think the sky per se is recognized as a suable entity by the state, said Henny Penny. I think we should go find a lawyer and learn who is suable, said Chicken Little, her diminutive brain working overtime. That's a good idea. And while we're there, I can ask who to sue for this with these ridiculously bony legs of mine. They've caused me nothing but anguish and embarrassment my whole life, and I should be compensated somehow for all of that. So they ran farther down the road until they came to the house of their neighbor, Goosey Lucy. Goosey Lucy is a busy teacher. <sighs> was busy teaching her canine annual animal companion to eat grass so she could avoid the guilty feelings that came with feeding the dog processed animal carcass from a can the sky is falling the sky is falling hmm? kill her goosey lucy needs to die Shirati, real quick um have they ever put you on Kepra for the seizures? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Well, my nephew's on that, and that poor kid gets very sleepy a lot. Uh, just continue. I, I just had to ask you that. Uh, 
I want to point out, if I remember correctly, uh, Sharati, this was written before Twitter was a thing, right? Oh, very, very much. Oh, it's prophetic. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Sue the bastards. Sue the bastards. Goosey Lucy leaned over the fence and said, Land sakes, why are you two carrying on so? I was playing on the road and a piece of sky fell on my head, explained Chicken Little. So we're going to find a lawyer to tell us who to, whom we can sue both for our injuries and for my bony legs. Oh, good. Can I come and sue someone for my long, gangly neck? You know, nothing really flatters it, so I'm convinced there's a conspiracy within the fashion industry against a long-necked waterfowl. So the three of them ran down the road looking for legal assistance. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Sue the bastards! Sue the bastards! Smash the conspiracy! Smash the conspiracy! Farther down the road, they met Boxy Loxy. Lovely name who was dressed in a blue suit and carried a briefcase. He held up a paw to halt the entourage. And what are you three doing out on this lovely day? Asked Foxy Loxy. We're looking for someone to sue, they shouted in unison. What are your grievances? Personal in in the injury, discrimination, intentional infliction of emotional distress, Negligent infliction of emotional distress. Tortious interference. The tort of outrage. Oh, yes, yes, the three said excitedly. All that and more. Well, then you're in luck, said Foxy Loxy. My caseload has just eased up, so I will be able to represent you in any and all lawsuits we can manage to bring. The trio cheered and flapped their wings, Chicken Little asked, but who are we going to sue? Without missing a beat, Foxy Loxy said, who aren't we going to sue? Three hapless victims such as yourselves will be able to find more guilty parties than you can shake a writ at. Now let's step into my office so we can discuss this further. Foxy Loxy walked over to a small black metal door that was... <clears throat> in the side of a small hill nearby. Step right this way, he said as he lifted the latch. But the black door wouldn't open. Foxy Loxy tugged on it with one paw, then with both. It still wouldn't budge. He yanked and pulled violently, cursing the door. <clears throat> its mental abilities and its sexual history. Finally, the door swung open and a huge ball of fire shot out. This was really the door to Foxy Loxy's oven, but unfortunately for him, the ball of fire engulfed his head, burned off every hair and whisker, and left him totally catatonic. Just a moment. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt here. Uh -huh. Voice, is there anything you want to say about your actions? <laughs> I, I can, I can other, uh, confirm nor deny if I was involved, but I will say this, considering the fox is called Foxy Loxy, I thought it was a she, but mm -hmm. apparently Sharati says it's a he, so are we to take the idea that Foxy Loxy is a trap? Is this why the UK <laughs> brought back fox hunting? More the point, do you not realize this proves that voice is actually a ginger? <laughs> oh, and a furry. Actually, because of uh, my baldness, nothing can be proven. <laughs> Can't disagree either. And <clears throat> actually, Spud, I am not proofreading this as I'm going through it right now. Oh, fucking hell. Hmm. Who'd we lose? Me. Me. The, I reckon he got hungry and's gone off to McDonald's to get some burgers. 
<laughs> Apparently, so a, a semi-attractive unicorn walked past his window. <laughs> <laughs> I read them before I do the story time streams. That way, I have an idea of what the fuck is going on in the stories. Did you say the why? Fox, did you say the fox is catatonic after having its head blown off? Oh, it it wasn't blown off. It was engulfed in flames. Shouldn't he be dead? It's a fairy tale. Still should be dead. <laughs> it's not done yet. I'm going to try that theory, Jens, and I'm going to fireball your head. <laughs> oh! No. Yeah. I'm not letting you set fire to me again. I've told you about this. <laughs> Chicken <laughs> Little, Henny <laughs> Penny, and Goosey Lucy ran away, thankful that they had not been devoured. However, the family of Foxy Loxy caught up with them. In addition to suing the manufacturer of the oven door on behalf of Foxy Loxy, the family brought suit against the three above-named barnyard fowl, claiming entrapment, reckless endangerment, and fraud. The family sought... Damn kids, hang on. The family sought payment for pain and suffering, compensatory damages, punitive damages, disability and disfigurement, long-term care, mental anguish, impaired earning power, loss of esteem, and the loss of a good dinner. The three birds later brought a countersuit, and they've all been battling in court from that day to this. The end. Animal abuse. I'm, I'm actually going to write to Peter and tell them about this. This is ridiculous. Peter might take <laughs> up on that. That's the worrying part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, where the hell do we begin with this? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Well... In all fairness, we've identified that Voice is actually a fox that's had his hair all burnt away. So that's good to know. At least, you know, we can now be certain that at some point he had long, luscious red locks running down his back. Is that why he's <laughs> bored? Was it another accident? Well, you know what he's like with his ovens. He was obviously testing one out, lit a match and realised he shouldn't have done that. That's health and safety. Where's the EU when you need them? Well, now we know how he got bald. I can well imagine from now on, Voice is going to have to answer to name Foxy Loxy. <laughs> Everyone in chat that likes the idea of that, hit one if you think Voice should be renamed Foxy Loxy. I just want to say, Johnson. You don't live that far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in trouble so far, dude. We've got a one. Okay, we've got B with our usual bloody three. I can't find the one button. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the one up, Jansen? <laughs> Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Fuck you, voice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean Foxy Loxy? Yeah. Well, I could do, and I could go through and read the three codependent go three codependent goats gruff again. Oh God! If you do <laughs> that, then poor old Doku's going to have to take all the blame. Nope, I'm not taking the blame for that one. No, nope, that one's on you, blame. Jensen. Nope, you wanted it originally, Jensen. I've, I've got to be generous here. I'm a kind-hearted individual. I'm, I'm going to have to give you the blame. You wanted it so desperately the other time we read it. But I, I, I can't deny right it. I can't deny you to mind. it. Are you taking away my right to change my mind? That you're, is you're, you're oppressing, you're, oh, you're oppressing yourself. I need to save is... you from your own oppression. The next one is all up to Jensen anyways. He's the one who gets to pick the last story. Oh, son of a bitch. 
<laughs> God damn it. And the peas. Princess and the peas. I don't know, have Princess and the Pea in here. And the last story no, is oh, all... Hang on. I, I want to vote for the German and the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were voting for the Jews. You see, you can't trust foxes. <laughs> so Jack, and the, then... Jack and the Beanstalk. Do Jack yeah. and the Beanstalk. I agree. Jack and the Beanstalk, because that has just got so many possibilities for crude comment. <laughs> um, I was very curious. I almost went with that, but I was more curious about Chicken Little to see what they would do with it. I'm actually quite impressed. Because <laughs> you got three fucking tweets tweeting their fucking heads off. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> a fucking court of, court of public opinion, the outrage court. It's perfect. I like it. <laughs> it is prophetic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. You picked the one story that I did not proofread. I know. Yes. <laughs> I was not aware of this, but I'm very happy about it. <laughs> just, just so you're one aware. The story I didn't proofread. Uh, It'll make well, it more entertaining. Wow. I think it'd be more entertaining if it was Jansen on the beanstalk. Oh, hey. <laughs> Get up, Foxy Loxy. Uh, Epi says, I mean, Foxy Lossy unfortunately, and Lucy Goosey were based on whores. True story. <laughs> Maybe. They were Twitter thoughts. Fucking Twitter thoughts. <laughs> I just real quick have to express my disappointment that Kirk in the Cube is, no, is not a uh, fairy tale in this book. <laughs> I, I want a guest appearance by Sharati. I don't even know what that is. The, the Cube. You know, Captain Kirk in the Cube. Oh, well. fuck you! <laughs> oh, I was thinking about the cube from uh, Hellraiser, dude. Oh, damn! I kind of want to watch that movie now. The oh, box. They always open the box. Okay. The How about just the cube? Have you seen that? Yeah, that is a yes. very weird movie. That's the one with uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez, right? Yeah, I think so. No, that was the cell. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, no, okay. the cube is a British uh, horror film. Oh, as far as I can remember. Cabby wants me doing Snow White. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cabby. You're not in here. You don't get a vote. Snow White is the final story. Snow White supremacy. Oh, yeah. I'm mm, just imagining I just want to see what... Gateway. I just want to see what they do with the seven dwarves. Oh, yeah. It's Snow White and the seven baby fathers. <laughs> Snow White and the seven baby daddies. I don't even want to tell you which direction I went on that. Let's just say it was Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, on a Johnson little farm. and the Beanstalk. Fuck you, voice. There lived a boy named Jack. Boo. He lived. He lived on a farm with his mother, and they were very excluded from the normal circles of economic activity. This cruel reality kept them in straits of direness until one day Jack's mother told him to take the family cow into town and sell it for as much as he could. Never mind the thousands of gallons of milk they had stolen from her. Never mind the hours of pleasure their bovine animal companion had provided and forgot forget about the manure they had appropriated for their garden. Can you define the hours of pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that kind of had me scratching my head a little bit too, but I wasn't going to be the one to bring it up, so thanks for that, B. You're welcome. Wait a second, couldn't they just get that for free on the streets of San Francisco, though? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think they should move. She was now just another piece of property to them. Jack, who 
didn't realize that non-human animals have as many rights as human animals, perhaps even more, did as his mother asked. On his way to town, Jack met an old magic vegetarian who warned Jack of the dangers of eating beef and dairy products. Oh, I'm not going to eat this cow, said Jack. I'm going to take her to town and sell her. But by doing that, you're just perpet- You're- Mmm. Fuck. Yes, yes, he's taking the cow to town for the Venezuelans. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> But by doing that, you'll just perpetuate the cultural mythos of beef, ignoring the negative impact of the cattle industry on our ecology and the health and social problems that arise from meat consumption. Holy fuck, he met Alexandria Ocasio Cortez on the way to sell the cow. <laughs> That's a once in a lifetime opportunity right there. <laughs> yeah, to shoot her. but you look too simple to be able to make these connections my boy i'll tell you what i'll do i'll offer a trade of your cow for these three magic beans which have as much protein as that entire cow but none of the fatter sodium hi kebby or any of the yeah. iron or vitamin D either. <laughs> Sorry, just had Jack to throw that little jab out there. Made the trade gladly and took the beans home to his mother. When he told her about the deal he had made, she grew very upset. She used to think her son was merely a conceptual rather than a linear thinker. But now she was sure he was downright differently abled. She grabbed the three magic beans and threw them out the window into or in disgust. (gasps) Later that day, she attended her first support group meeting with mothers of storybook children. Cute. The next morning, Jack stuck his head out the window to see if the sun had risen in the east again. He was beginning to see a pattern in this. But outside the window, the beans had grown into a huge beanstalk that reached through the clouds because he no longer had a cow to milk in the morning. Jack climbed the beanstalk into the sky. At the top, above the clouds, he found a huge castle. It was not only big, but it was built to larger than average scale, as if it was the home of someone who had just happened to be a giant. Jack entered the castle and heard beautiful music wafting through the air. He followed this sound until he found its source, a golden harp that played music without being touched. Next to this self-actualized harp was a hen sitting on a pile of golden eggs. Now the prospect of easy wealth... Not a hen, it's a goose. It's a goose that lays a golden egg. Not a hen. In the book, it's a fucking hen! Yeah. Wrong. Now the prospect of easy wealth... And mindless entertainment appealed to Jack. The hen is guilty of cultural appropriation. Bourgeoisie sensibilities. So he picked up both the harp and the hen and started to run for the front door. Then he heard thundering footsteps and a booming voice that said, Fee, fi, fo, bum. I smell the blood of an English person. I'd like to learn about his culture and views on life and share my own perspectives in an open and generous way. Said absolutely no one anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Theresa May, is that you? (laughs) 
Oh, it'd be more entertaining if Jack was Jack... a South African boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jack was too crazed with greed to accept the giant's offer of a cultural interchange. It's only a trick, thought Jack. Besides, it's a giant. What's a giant doing with such fine, delicate things? He must have stolen them from somewhere else. So I have every right to take them. His frantic justifications, remarkable for someone with his overtaxed mental resources, revealed a terrible callousness to the giant's personal rights. Jack's apparently... Jack... Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on, yawn again. Jack is a Jack is a uh, body. I don't know what 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 would you call. It? He's not body positive. He has to think about the giant. No, my nose won't quit running. That's why I stop. Uh, I stand by my statement. It would be so much more entertaining if Jack was a South African boy. <laughs> Jack apparently was a complete sizeist who thought that all giants were clumsy, knowledge-impaired, and exploitable. When the giant saw Jack with the magic harp and the hen, he asked, Why are you taking what belongs to me? Jack knew he couldn't outrun the giant, so he had to think fast. He blurted out, I'm not taking them, my friend. I'm merely placing them with my stewardship so that they can be properly managed and brought to their fullest potential. Pardon my bluntness, but you giants are too simple in the head and don't know how to manage your resources properly. I'm just looking at out for your interests. You'll thank me for this later. Jack held his breath to see if the bluff would save his skin. The giant sighed heavily and said, Yes, you are right. We giants do use our resources foolishly. Why can't we even discover a new beanstalk before we get so excited and pick away at it so much that we pull the poor thing right out of the ground. Jack's heart sank. He turned and looked out the front door of the castle. Sure enough, the giant had destroyed his beanstalk. Jack grew frightened and cried. Now I'm trapped here in the clouds with you forever? The giant said, don't worry, my little friend. We are strict vegetarians up here, and there are always plenty of beans to eat. And besides, you won't be alone. Thirteen other men of your size have already climbed up beanstalks to visit us and stayed. To be fair, that is what Jack Dorsey deserves. <laughs> <clears throat> so Jack resigned himself to his Damn. fate. So as a... this, this giant is like set up a grooming gang. <laughs> I'm glad you spotted Gro that. Yeah, it's grooming by a beans. You know, I was doing my best not to say anything on that, but uh, what I'm seeing here is a grooming gang working perfectly. I mean, you trap the kids, pretty music, pretty things, and then they're trapped up there yeah. with all the other little boys. Definitely. No, turning them into vegetarians. That's Damn even. I was going to say that you got a double threat. You have a grooming gang run by vegans and sizes. Triple threat. I take it back. I, I take and for some name, reason, we'll start with M. And <laughs> for some reason, turning you know geese into hens. I mean, they have no bounds. There, there's no bounds to the insanity up in that that cloud. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to rewrite the title of the story and say Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Ocasio Cortez sit down over a, bo a Boca burger. So Jack resigned himself to his fate as a member of the Giants Cloud Commune. He didn't miss his mother or their farm much, but up in the sky there was less work to do and more than enough to eat. And he gradually learned not to judge people based on their size ever again, except for those shorter than he except when the uh, the giant stepped on him one morning <laughs> that's the end 
I'm pretty sure this was read to Alexandria Sasio Cortez every night when she was a child. It wouldn't be so bad, but I'd actually believe it with the shit she comes out with. She is a. She's quite the uh, interesting intellect, to say the least. In well, special intellect is. What well, well, I have to say, Duke, that's, that's a very magnanimous way of calling her retarded. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to be uh, trying to be polite here. I, I can't. I can't judge the whammons too harshly. But that's I, not a whammon. That's a. Nah, no, she's a chihuahua. A special. She's a chihuahua. A rabbit. Well, I have to agree with straight Seth Mail here. That's not a woman. That's a set of teeth in a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, but don't forget the googly eyes. You got the googly eyes. Uh, I quite forget the googly eyes, but they still haunt has anyone me. Made a, has anyone made like a bobblehead of her yet with googly eyes? <laughs> poor, one of those. poor Aunt Jack. He's like, wait, no women? That would be hell. The story is anti-woman. <laughs> Actually, wait, I'm no, a complete no, side there's note. A mother, no, there's a mother who's a complete bitch and start, you know, and just treats Jack like, uh, you know, a son, a single parent, of course, as always. <laughs> A complete side note, I'm surprised nobody has used memes from uh, Jim Carrey's The Mask and compared them out to uh, Sazio Cortez. I think that would be Good brilliant. Point. Yeah. That yeah someone sure get on this. Better. Yeah, well, the only problem is Duku, the, the mask, even with the mask, there's no way he could open his mouth that wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. He's used to deep throating a lot of BBC. Oh, you got a license for that, Mike. Hmm. <sighs> you have a license for that, Spork. Well, oh, I've been wait. concerned with the fact that B actually has a license for her spaceship. Wait, I thought it was a harpoon. No, no that's no, going on. The spaceship one. Oh, no, I saw, I, saw, I saw the spaceship license. Yeah, it, it looked totally kosher to me. Yeah, yeah. Cabby, it, it is legit. Yeah, it says it approved. Good. God, we have fucking Dr. Evil over here. <laughs> Dr. Evil with an unhealthy obsession with cosplay. I've been trying to uh, warn you guys for ages. No one listened to me. That's going to be my next story time book. The zombie love. Okay, that sounds... It's Actually, got quizzes in it. It has quizzes. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. I'm looking forward to that, Ashley. That's going to be highly entertaining. Indeed it will. Well, you know, hold off on that. I wouldn't get too excited. You know, it, it, it's a hit and miss. You know that. And after all, we still have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, or whatever goddamn yep. name we've actually decided. Oh yeah, that will, that'll be a, that'll be a treat. Yeah, Cinderella is this thought. We got her as well, right? You know, to actually, have, have okay. Of, uh, there is be Snow White and the Seven Mexican Gardeners. <laughs> There's Snow White. All right, Cinderella, we got have a pool boy the Frog well. Pins, and the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Hamlin. But mm, the Pied Hamlin Piper Hamlin. is being saved to when Mad is here. And let's be fair, Snow White and the Seven Pawn uh, Shops. Those are the only three that we have left. Cinderella, Snow White, and the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Well, we're going to have to wait for Mad then. Do Snow White or Bullshit? Well, I'll do Snow White. I'll be balls deep in that before you know it. <laughs> you may well regret that. I, I don't know how the story goes yet. Actually, uh, see, Cabby, you can't uh, do that. You can't do that. According to uh, Asazio Cortez, you can't reproduce if you're a white person. It's bad for the environment. You know, I, I think we should rename uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs to How Snow White Conquered the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> No, Blum, you're the only weirdo that likes that type of porn. Sorry, I was looking at that. 
Yeah, we need some crossover stories. Karate, <laughs> don't look it up. I know that. I know that's what you're doing. What? I, I'm talking to my husband. Oh, tell him we said hi. <laughs> tell him we said run. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling after listening to some of these stories, I might have made the wrong decision to start trying to, uh, well, start writing a horror novel. I should be writing politically cor uh, correct fairy tales for the current day and age. <laughs> oh my God. Politically correct horror stories. What are they going to do to Frankenstein's monster? Oh, oh, true, yeah. oh you're giving me yeah. ideas. No, I'm I'm yeah, imagine they it. anymore. It, uh, half the book will be him deciding what kind of genitalia to attack. <laughs> actually, I think that was actually the original trap story. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to have to set it in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein in Bangkok. Holy shit. Dr. Frankenstein. Aw. Do you guys want to take one of the quizzes? Or Frankenstein. Well, you'll need a pen or a. No, oh, fuck that. You'll need, <laughs> you'll need to answer yes, no, or sometimes. Oh boy. Got it's it? a point. It's a point-based quiz. Oh, okay. Sounds kind of scary, but we do it. Sorry, fun. All right. Uh. Question number one. I have a real passion for my afterlife and crawl out of my burrow excited about the day or night ahead. Where's memes when we're talking furries? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's another kid and he's not a furry. I'll, I'll, I'll give that one a yes. I'll give, yeah, that, I'll one give one yes. that one a yes too. I'm giving All that right. one a no. I'm giving that a well, Write it, it down. Not right and tell me there. when you're ready. Ready. I didn't even hear the question. I have a real passion for my afterlife and crawl out of my burrow excited about the day or night ahead. You can answer yes, no, or sometimes. Yeah, I like chomping on those dirty warm bloods. Yeah, man. Chomping air breathers. I'm, I'm thinking of Watership Down and the mix of mitosis. <laughs> <laughs> there, yes, on that one. All right, question number two. I like getting phone calls. No. No. No, definitely not. I wish my touch phone didn't require body heat to dial uh from a zombie i guess that'd be yes i'm sorry it's not a thing <laughs> yes. I, no i'm serious i don't own a mobile phone so is that a thing no i don't own a smartphone i just got a flip phone so. yeah yeah that's how touch screens you know work it goes off body heat at least most of them i think there's some that are actually pressure sensitive but they're not very common Oh, wait, yes, guys. I'm, a, I'm uh, a nerd, damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Doku, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, but Auntie Jack <laughs> in uh, chat says, uh, the Iliad, politically correct. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm, I'm uh, going to have to do that. The Iliad and the Odyssey, but the politically correct version? Holy fuck, that sounds amazing. How do they work off body heat if you can use the stylus to use your phone? Yeah. That's it. It's, it's actually about minerals. It, it's it's to do with the chemistry. It's not. I think the stylus the, is the, the stylus uh, magnetized graphite. or something. No, it's, no oh, is that what it is? Got, yeah, I it's thought... got graphite in it and stuff. So. Oh, okay, it's, that's interesting. Logic. Yeah. Number four. I like parties. Yeah. Mm, depends who's there. I hate. Yeah, that's a sometimes. So answer sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I like sometimes. Parties, but... People, uh, that's kind of weird, right? Hmm? What? Hating What's people weird? and liking parties at the same time is kind of my thing. Yes, I'm not afraid the next girl shooter. <laughs> uh, it's because he wants free alcohol, that's all it is. 
<laughs> Number five. I like to crouch behind the garage at the party thrower's pad. Wait. What? Wait. Re repeat that what? real quick. What? I like to crouch behind the garage well, what the f what? at the party thrower's pad. Uh, no. <laughs> a party if you're a zombie. Keeping toms. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that one a sometimes. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Seems situational enough. <laughs> oh Depends, whether I've been Depends whether I've been invited or not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get invited? Would the neighbor's house be in the third way month? Cabby? Do what? you often get invited to crouch behind people's <laughs> no, the uh, I thought No, I was meaning to the party. You see. Oh, okay. In that case, I might have to crouch there and just live vicariously. <laughs> see, that's the nice thing about crouching behind the garage at the party goer's pad. You don't have to be invited. True. Mm. Number six, I find it easy to talk to new people. Yes. I don't know. It depends on what color hair dye they have. That's a sometimes. Yeah, yeah very good point. <laughs> yeah, how many piercings? <laughs> I've seen enough fucking cringe videos on YouTube to know that's definitely a strong sometimes. Oh, yeah. Uh, number seven, I find it easier to eat. These new people, Jensen. There we go. That's a yes. Do we really need to ask what my answer to that one's going to be? Strong no. <coughs> Number eight. I treat everyone I encounter with the highest degree of restraint. <laughs> oh hell the fuck no <laughs> that is a strong no yes yes no nine then I decide who gets eaten first well it's definitely going to be cabbage <laughs> hmm. well come on you're only going to start with the old you know sinewy you know Zombies right. aren't. The, zombies don't eat cabbages. The They're not <laughs> vegan. <laughs> I had a zombie in mean, my cabbage. I mean, I don't know if if I answered no to the to the previous question. I got to give that a sometimes. It, again, it goes back to depending on how many piercings in the hair hair color. So sometimes. Yeah. All right, number ten. Social events energize me. That's a no. How many other questions the questions are there just out of interest? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. 25. Yeah. Oh, how long, how long does this pain go on for? Oh, Jesus. I'm not, I'm not even going to remember the first one, so I haven't got a fucking... That's why I told you to write it down or use a fucking uh, computer. And that's why I said no fucking chance. <laughs> I wrote mine down. Well, we'll just have to spitball when it comes to Cabby. <laughs> hmm. 11 they also make me hungry oh that's a yes yeah definitely yeah 12 I often apply my unnatural reserves of strength to do amazing things like smashing car windows to get at a lovely collection of day trippers for a second there, I thought that said day strippers, <laughs> but I reread uh, it. You see, if it, if, if it had been that, that would have been a day, definitely, yes. But I know, right? You're muddying the waters now. Yeah, you're muddying the waters. Can we change that one to strippers? Yeah. Sure. Just My the same either way, so I'm good. <laughs> sure, sure. I smashed plenty of car windows when I was a teenager and a little anarchist asshole. I thought you was going to say you smashed plenty of strippers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you want to take into account uh, Grand Theft Auto, several hundred. <laughs> he fucked the shit out of Bada Bing. 13. I like to be with people. No. Yes, I know. 
So sometimes. 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 Well, again, it depends who the people are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 14. I like people for their brains as well as their bodies. No, I'll go ahead and say yes to that one. I'd just like to point out you really shouldn't eat the brains. That's the worst part, one of the worst parts in the human body. And sometimes people can be so fucking stupid. However, you can use it to um, uh, oh God, uh, tan hides. So, yeah. Yeah, so sometimes I like a good game of kickball. Are you mm-hmm. saying empty calories? It's, the... like, it's not the calories, it's the sheer insanity that it causes. If you. you're a zombie, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it's a prions or prions, or whatever you want to call it. Yep. <sighs> 15. I find puppies, kittens, and infants equally delicious. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, like, just because of that reaction, puppies. Just because of B's reaction, that's a strong yes. <laughs> so gonna... yeah. Depends how they're prepared. I mean, is it fricasseed? What kind of sauce? Gabby, <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Gabby. <laughs> All right. Uh, I enjoy a broad variety of activities that push the limits of my physical and mental capabilities. No. Yeah, fuck that. Too lazy there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say no. That sounds like you're opening yourself up to something that could potentially be very, uh, well, would make it difficult to sleep at night. 17. I feel that I am approachable. No. I'm a fucking prick. Yeah, I like but I'm being an approachable a prick, prick. You see that that's how you yeah. them off guard. They don't know they don't know what they're getting into. See they come up all high, <laughs> they come up smiles and happy and they go away mm-hmm. crying. Good time. He's a trap of a third kind. <laughs> 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 I had... 18. I attend to new wounds and infestations immediately. Um, what? The zombie remember. I attend, I attend to new wounds and infestations immediately. Why would you tend to them if you're a zombie? I mean, yeah, surely that's how... open, oozing wounds is, is kind of like the life of a zombie, isn't it? Yeah, I thought well, that's no. how zombies power up. Actually... Yeah, no As someone who plays now. undead, you actually don't want to have open wounds. Not the least being that you don't really want your bits all falling out. It looks embarrassing. I'm sure you don't <laughs> want to be a zombie either, but, you know, I don't think you've got much of a choice once you've had somebody bite a chunk out of you. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Uh, 19? Very I trans- enjoy helping very others. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on who the others are. Chances are, if I have to help them, I'm probably not going to enjoy it anyways. As long as it's not moving yeah. house. Fuck that. Never again. <laughs> 20. I am hungry. Uh, yes. yes. Actually, I am 21. <laughs> Honesty in a relationship is important to me. Yes. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll say yes on that one. It's There's some things I'd probably rather not know, but... It's interesting yeah. hearing you guys' reactions to that. That's quite fascinating, actually. Hmm. Well, because absolute honesty is bullshit, isn't it? It's like it's the old question about you know what do you say when your wife asks you if her ass looks big in it? You know, I mean, you know, white lies. If her things. ass looks big, you tell her it fucking looks big. Mm-hmm. Okay, white, exactly. white Don't lies. blame the pants. It's your ass. <laughs> don't, don't blame the hosiery. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will accept white lies. White lies are perfectly uh they're 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 not hurting anybody. White lies are perfectly fine. All right. Twenty two. 
it is easy for me to express my real deal feel or real dead feelings. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. I'm an asshole, so yeah. <laughs> Don't lie about that one. 23? <laughs> I like the next one. I control my temper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to have to give no. that one a strong no. <laughs> if I tried to say yes to that, everybody would call me on my bullshit. <laughs> Everyone say no to that question. Uh, if... Totally harmonious. <laughs> okay. Um, 24 is unless I'm really hungry. That's not a question. It, nope, but that's I think what it's a it follow says. Up. I think it's a follow up to the previous one. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, well, I guess since I answered no to that, I have to answer no to that one as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And twenty five is I'm really hungry. Yes. Seriously, we're doing the hungry thing again for the third time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These three hungry questions in a row are making it very difficult to control my temper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, to calculate your score, every yes is one point, every no is zero point, and every sometimes is a half a point. I keeping... Thirteen point five. Pardon? 13.5. How do I get a negative number? How does that work? I got, <laughs> I got zero. Okay. For anyone between zero and eight points, you are a pretty shy zombie. You love to stay home and cuddle with a cutie on a pile of rags and gnaw on some leftover Chinese guy. When you do go out, it's usually to do something low-key like catch a moviegoer. There's nothing wrong with a solitary after lifestyle, and you should always be true to yourself. But if you're sick <clears throat> of being solitary alone then you are the ideal candidate for internet dating <laughs> <laughs> no wow that's kind of a slap on the face <laughs> okay between especially nine... since i've already tried it and it didn't work so yeah <laughs> well are you a zombie yes. could be Okay, All right, between mine. 9 and 17 points. You're about as well adjusted as a maggot infested walking cadaver can be can hope to be. Woo! Cool. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good result. <laughs> good for you. You're comfortable in social settings, but you don't have to steal the moonlight. You love a good party, but you don't mind staying in and working on a jigsaw either. Internet dating I quite like that can movie. Start... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Internet dating can certainly work for you because it will help you shallow down the dating pool and flush out the right creature for you. No, no, no. And I have to, once again, I'm looking at chat and Andrew Jack is right. Internet dating is terrible. What the oh, hell yeah. happened? So these kids where you met people. I've In never Australia. delved into the realm of internet dating, to be honest. This book and is called Zombie Love the Do's, Don'ts, and It Depends of, un of Undead Dating. No, I can't uh, watch I guess it. that makes sense now. Uh, it's actually on the curriculum. <laughs> yeah. 18... And or between 18 and 25 points. You are about as outgoing as they come. When there's a 
brain hungry rampage on an unsuspecting town on a misty night you're one of the leading lurchers you probably have no problem talking to people but you might have the tendency to bite their heads off (laughs) when they try to get a word in edgewise Uh, you may not need internet dating to meet people but it might be a good idea to try it so you give others a chance to say something before you cut them off at the knees Crazy. Cabby, I hope you're taking notes, mate. (laughs) (laughs) This quiz sounds like an advert for internet dating. (laughs) It's all the internet dating. Jensen, what did you score? 12.5. The more curious as to why B is asking. (laughs) 17. Dude, what's wrong with you lot? <laughs> now, I, actually, I'll tell you what. What question did you actually write sometimes to? Was it number 13? Oh, hang yeah. on. Wait, no. I didn't. I stopped writing shit down. God damn it. No, question oh. 8. Oh. Okay, fair play. I worked it out. I understand now how I got a negative score. I was I was <laughs> using the a... I was using the fuck given scale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Oz says hi back to everybody. Hello, Oz. Hey, Oz. Hello, Oz. Oz. Sharati, what uh, score did you get? I said I got a seventeen. Oh, I didn't hear. You. Okay. No, it doesn't, sweetie. Really. Did anyone else count that out? All right. So we've done three stories and one quiz. Well, more the point. Let's do another quiz. What was... No, actually... No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, no. Lowest score, because so far, Epileptic Insomniac is winning on 9.5. <laughs> I told you, I got... Uh, I got a 14. I got a 14, so... Who is buzzing? Well, I'm not Shadi? doing another... Who, who's buzzing? Shadi, is that you? Is it no. your vibrator? No, not a uh, vibrator. No. Stop, B. There's, there's like an electric buzzing right here. Uh, it's, it could be the fucking TV in the background. I'm not. Uh, uh, is, is one of your female relatives alone in a room with a, <laughs> yeah. with a, with, with a massager? Has somebody remotely controlled your butt plug? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, stop doxing yourself. I'm <laughs> sorry, dude. No, but uh, so how has everybody's date been so far? Or night? It was all going so well until the quiz. Aww, are you? Cabby really doesn't loud? like quizzes. <laughs> well, well that's like the offer. It was his uh, ability to code. Of course, he doesn't like quizzes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I know our British, our British brothers and sister, who is with us, uh, don't hear too much about American politics. It's really weird that you guys, that that your MPs, are so fascinated about the current orange man. No, it's because we know. We just pay attention to international politics because, you know, we're international. We're not isolationist. So, you know, we pay attention to our own and there is enough time in the day to look at what's going on over there. You know. let's we go, just choose our time differently. Let's be honest, Cabby. We watch the news to see if he's blown anyone up yet. Well, yes, yeah, there's so. always that. It's kind of like watching skiing. You only do it to watch somebody crash. Actually, the only reason uh, <laughs> I follow you is to see how fucking crazy the left gets. I don't care about any of it. Oh, it is. I mean, no. American politics is like watching a car crash. I mean, it, it is. It's like NASCAR or something. You know, it's it it is a it's a great spectator sport. You're not wrong on that, dude. And look at the retardedness that they're doing. Like Kamala Harris is going on reparations. Come on now. Actually, it's she's, it's, really... uh, she's not Kamala anymore. She's what was it? Kamala or some fucking thing. 
Her name oh. is Camel Toe. Just call her that. It's so fun. <laughs> that nonsense yeah. that this woman is bringing, and just like crazy as Cortez, and I know Sharati hates the hell out of her. Sharati, how the hell did this little moron get power? She's a stupid cunt, is what she is. No, she's beyond stupid. Her little green new deal is a pipe dream of a 12 year old. It's because she basically ran uncontested in her district. Yeah, Doku, you're not wrong at all. She, she didn't have an opponent, right? But did you hear her when she was talking about taxes and she going, oh, when you were at the tippity top, the tippity top, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're meant to be a, a senior representative Honestly, of the government and you got, uh, just make sure. No, I have to admit, the uh, whoever was originally representing that district and decided not to run, good on you. You got out at the right time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, and then that was a smart move. Got, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, but uh, but uh, that whole bullshit that Bill Maher put that Middle America and most of the red states want to be blue states. Well, if they wanted to be blue states, they would be. You fucking retard. Yeah, Bill yeah, Maher, that is... he, he's really desperate now. He, he got totally fucking fucked idiot. by Obama. I yeah, hate really. Bill Maher so fucking much. This is the same guy who would sit there and fucking grave stand on Stanley. Like, Dude, well, yeah, Bill Maher, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that, not, that was disgraceful. Doku, not only did he stand on the grave of Stan Lee and try to defame the man's name, he sat up there and said that He's better than us because apparently people in Middle America, well, I'm not in Middle America, I'm Southwest. Either way, you guys have Wolfgang Puck in California and you have, we have Chef Puck. Fuck you. Yeah. It, it's honestly, it, I mean, and this is the thing that Bill Maher, you know, claims that he's so in touch with everything, you know, and that he's, you know, because he goes out and he does his gigs and he's with down with the people he's about a separate he's as much in a bubble i mean he is so far in the fucking bubble that he just doesn't get it the amount of times and it's just cringeworthy stuff it's like do you even hear yourself i mean how you know surely somebody on his staff would have pointed out it's like you know this does make you look like a bit of a twat it's no this. different it's no different and and doku can contest to this uh the captain marvel nonsense this is ridiculous mm. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're going to take off our comment section. We're going to take off our dislikes. Really? No, no. That's not the really fascinating bit. Have you not heard one of their latest strokes of genius? Only no. women are allowed to go and watch that movie. Well, wait, what? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> well, well they did the same thing. No, they did the same thing with Wonder Woman. You remember it opened up and there was loads of cinemas that were having women's only viewings. I and then one of them ended up getting done for being sexist, so... I yeah, don't actually remember people throwing fits over Wonder Woman, though. No, because the thing, and oddly, you know, when people came out and they were looking for interviews, it's like, yeah, it's not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get the response they were hoping for. Yeah, Because it was, a, it was, you know, semi-decent film. They were right. hoping for the apparently, and this is the great part, it's only straight white males. And I'm like, well, I'm passable way, but I'm not. And at the same time, really, you're going to sit back there and do the bigotry of low expectations. Well, of course. On, since we're on the topic of Captain Marvel uh, real quick, this came up on the stream of Corruption last night. Uh, I have personally not seen an article about this, but I trust Lord Nurgle's judgment. Apparently, uh, there is 5,000 or potentially more theaters that w Disney would not allow to show Captain Marvel if Alita Battle Angel was still in theaters uh, come March 8th. Wait, so the last, really? t last chance you get to go see it is Thursday, not Friday. And the, so now the, i got to see it on the 7th. The Battle Angel, uh, Doki, have you seen it? I have not seen it yet, but I really want to go. I didn't really have a desire to go see it, but just because of all of this crap, I want to see it now. <laughs> yeah, me too. And also, no, I've, no, I've seen some of the reviews. It actually looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to yeah, see it. I, I don't necessarily like the big eyes thing they did because it's a live action, you know, 
but still, I'm going to watch it. And, and yeah. there's, no, there's no social social justice <laughs> nonsense. It looks great. Yeah, I kind of thought there would be. I kind of thought there would be, which is sort of what turned me off from it. That and the style, like the guy's CGI stuff kind of did turn me off a little bit. But the more I hear people review it, I'm like, yeah, what? I guess I'll go ahead and watch it and judge it for, my, for myself. I, I would not get No, uh, Alita, Alita Battle Angel. Oh, right, I was going to say. Or Battle yeah, Angel Alita. Um, no, and uh, did you know that they were trying to get that made since 2005? Oh, yeah. So, uh, Boyce, what's your opinion on this uh, Critter TV show? <laughs> critter? <laughs> what? Don't what fucking kidding? start me. <laughs> what? What the I'm trying to. Fucking Critters, right? You had the classic. Classic from the uh, fucking 80s. It, you shouldn't be rid on. And now they have a fucking terrible... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Critters? No, critters. Like, like Grandma. They're redoing they're doing Critters? critters? Yes. Oh, what the they're fuck? making it into a TV series. Obviously okay, not. Why? You guys, but, but but no. Uh, look, fuck off. Live action. They're gonna they they're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> fuck it up. They're gonna butcher it. They're gonna fucking yep. butcher it. Um, I mean, if it was a movie, guy, they go, it'd be maybe. really cool if we made this live action and so that you know, a bunch of people running around. Well, around, not even like, just that. They're making very... it a fucking TV show. Like, no. It was live Please, action. No. God damn it. Are you fu- No. No. Just yeah. leave all They're going to replace the they're going to replace all the fucking they're going to replace all the fucking practical effects with fucking CG. We like no. you know they're going to and no. it's going to be fucking terrible. That's the point. They've not at, apparently they're not doing that. I've put the link in the side chat at the bottom if you guys want to have a look. But apparently Wait, so they're going to keep practical effects? Yeah. I find that really hard to believe, but if that's true, then it gets a little bit of a bump up. But I'm still, yeah, I don't know. It'll about end that. up like fucking Fraggle Rock. Oh, oh god! It fucking will. Fucking Fraggle Rock. Because <laughs> it'll have to be hypersensitive god. to everyone, right? It'll have to appeal to autistics and everything, and then Barney will probably do a fucking cameo. I think that they really. Oh. Hope... Would you guys be surprised if they did a remake of? H and R puffin stuff. Hitten, what do you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you want, cat? Where are you meowing? No, you can't go in the fucking storage unit. You're gonna get lost in the fucking side of the wall like you did last time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn cat. Shoot it. But yeah, Is remaking critters? No, fuck that. I don't like it. I don't approve. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shame Magic Bollocks isn't here. I would have loved to have heard his opinion. I bet it would have been so delicate and polite. Oh, yes. Because he's always delicate and polite. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny as hell. I still say, voice, you and him need to do a little stream about this just so as you can... Show your appreciation for them taking another film from your youth and bringing it up to date. I'm rimming it. <laughs> that was as politically correct as I can put it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. These these fuckers need to be stopped. We need to like throw rocks at their heads or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how did uh, Lucy Goosey or Goosey Lucy put it? Sue the bastards? Right? Yeah, that's what you said, wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh no, that was that was uh, that was Henny Penny. Oh, Henny Penny. No, no, that's Foxy yeah. Loxy. Sorry, my my bad. No, that's a voice. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Do I need any fucking Enigma code or something? What the fuck are you babbling about? Oh, voice is gone. I think he was probably AFK. I think he's gone to shoot himself. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> well, it's overdue, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> it has been a while in coming. 
<laughs> no, he's just practicing the uh, he's just practicing the classic British tradition of fox hunting. <laughs> oh god! Ain't Jack has just come up with a terrifying thought? They will re remake uh, everything eventually, even B movies such as Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh no! <laughs> actually, well, well, you never know. Some of the remakes of the old ones, he actually might make better. I doubt it. I'm, well, lying. Well, I'm lying to myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, maybe they. Oh, the new Fifth, the new Ghostbusters. What? What? The new Ghostbusters? Don't my dear. Fucking dare. Shut it up. Actually, considering the uh, politically correct state of Hollywood, I would really, really, really love to see them recreate Attack of the Fifty Foot Woman. Because holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I would love to see funny. the Twitter fucking outrage from that. That would be amazing. It, it would be a, a a gender fluid female penis having. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, losing it. Attack of the Fifty Foot Zim. <laughs> a remake of Toxic Avengers, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh. maybe depending on who, depending on who would take it on. If they gave it to like somebody, say Seth MacFarlane, I bet he can make it look good. Mm, he'd still throw in a few. I mean, he still he does the same. Yeah, thing, Mc but... MacFarlane could actually probably do a decent job with that. The Orville, uh, Doku, do you enjoy McFarlane it? has gone completely fucking SJW. I mean, no, the yeah. last few episodes, it's fucking has, has idiot. Oh, uh, okay, I haven't seen the last few episodes, but the Orville was looking pretty fun. Now, okay, yeah, well, it was in the, f the first series. I had high hopes for it, but it just gets worse and worse as it goes along. And then the first one, I mean, again, it's like you got these gay fucking Klingon type whatever, and then you got all this... You know, and then oh, gee, there's one episode where basically, you know, there has to be a, a robot relationship. You know, I mean, it's like it's not it been it's been done by data and stuff, but it, it, it's just uh -oh. tacky. That's, that's see, this fair. is this is just more confirmation of what I've been saying. SJWs are not creative; they wait for something no. to get popular, and then once it does, that's when the infestation starts, and it right. slowly spreads like a fucking tumor. Yeah. Well, I, no, I was Seth telling people, is SJW through and through. I was telling people five, six, seven, eight years ago that the SJWs were going to end up destroying mainstream, and they're like, "No, dude, you're crazy. These people are crazy." Look at Ocasio Cortez for fuck's sake. Do I have to? Yeah. Fast forward the clock. Hmm. We've been telling you this. We've been saying it was going to happen. We told all of them, and they were like, oh, no, dude, it's not going to happen, bro. No, no you're too no, extreme. Really? No, it's conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy theory. Yeah, well, a conspiracy fact now, isn't it? Because you didn't pay attention. Well, I hate, to bring up, <clears throat> I hate to bring up the infamous Gamergate, but yeah. everyone <laughs> back around that time was saying this was going to fucking happen, and it wasn't just video games. Like, nah, you're crazy. It it's you're just attacking the journalist, you know. There's there's a few bad apples. It's not like it's going to affect the gaming industry in any significant way. It'll never well, affect mainstream entertainment. See, it won't that, affect comic books. It but that's but why no. they really. But Doku, that's where they really fucked up. You know the SJWs and people like you know and Anita Sarkeesian jumping on the back of something in that field. Um, it was a wrong. It was a wrong audience to do it. I mean, you got game players, so. You know, this is the reason that the backlash was so fucking substantial and how many people's careers got completely destroyed by it. I mean, you know, they were, <laughs> 4chan got weaponized at that point, well, you know? It, and so, it, I mean, it's not, I mean, they, again, they're trying to say that 4chan was Gamergate, but that's not the case. I mean, you know, some people in, you know, I mean, obviously 4chan, it'd be like saying that everyone on Facebook was Gamergate in that case. 4chan is weaponized trolls. They well, figured yeah. out. In Albuquerque, the fucking town I live in, they figured out where Shia LaBeouf yep. had his fucking <laughs> stupid flag up. And, and I yep. could have told you. Uh, the funny thing is, Cabbage, they heard the gun shootings. That's Albuquerque every fucking day. Downtown is... Well, they, um, no, the way they did it well, was uh, there was the frogs. 
there was the they saw airliners in the in, in the image so they tied the timings of where planes were at any given time then people were actually using astrological fucking charts in order yeah, to they identify did it using the fucking the movement <laughs> of planetary bodies <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they went totally full on hardcore man <laughs> you got yeah, like so. seriously <laughs> weaponized autism to the yeah. nth degree I would for the sake of pulling down that stupid flag and <laughs> putting a fucking MAGA hat in its place. I would never just want to piss off Shia LaBeouf. Just, yeah, just to troll the little troll asshole. Oh my god, beautiful. And the thing was, look how well, quick Tumblr it found that out the hard like... way on several occasions. Don't try to fuck with 4chan. Give them an excuse to no. do anything. There is going to be that one fucking autistic well... screwhead on the internet that will take you up on it. Oh yeah. Uh, it's true. Hey, this is that's what we call the 4chan, that, or the hacker known as 4chan. Sorry, we got to call it by its proper term. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course, because 4chan, again, is a collective, right? Because everyone's the same, right? Everyone is, is a hacker, and everyone's a, you know, a right-wing, alt-right, you know. Russian bot. Lunatic. Don't forget I, the Russian I, bot. Russian I bot. know oh, it's yeah, true I'm because both. Don yes. Lemon and Rachel Maddow told me so. <laughs> They've got a great track record of honest journalism. <laughs> How did you manage to say that without biting your tongue off, dude? I don't know. I, I'm very skilled at I'm very skilled at the art of bullshittery. Ah, uh, okay, no, fair point. Fair point. No, but th these people are getting—they're legitimately getting insane, guys. To where the point of it's dangerous. Acacio. New Green Deal? Did she even realize? Hold on, let me finish real quick. Did she even realize how many fossil fuels it would take strictly to make the rails for said railroad? Oh, no, we can afford $93 trillion. trillion. It's perfectly fine. Greenspan said that we could uh, oh, yeah. always ensure that we can pay off our debts, but we can't guarantee the purchasing power of the dollar. So let's just go ahead and print money. That's a great economic strategy. Oh, yeah, it worked yeah. very well during the yeah. Well, it was very well for Germany after World War One. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if you need wallpaper for cheap, I'd, you know. But uh, cabbage, don't forget, don't you dare tell them that uh, Hitler was a national socialist. Well, don't forbid. You know, reality sucks, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we've we've got to we've got to get. We've got to use the last, uh, the last good quote before, uh, before the MCU goes full belly up. Reality is often disappointing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanos wasn't wrong. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the uh, seeing the actual, you know, the the, um, uh, the user reviews. For that Captain Marvel and how few there are actually that's not quite oh, no, no, no. just the Something numbers else. alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain. I want I want those photographs where you know like the empty theaters, there's nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the rotten tomato reviews because man, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a lot more booze than I usually keep on hand for that fucking drinking game. That's what I, I mean. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, I was gonna say I cannot wait until they I doubt they're gonna disable the or, or re-enable the comments. I doubt they are. But if they do, do they have any clue how many people are going to troll the every living shit out of it? Well, it's a, you, you should have a stream like the day after. Uh, when does it get released? Uh, March 8th. Eight. Eight. Okay. It's the ninth over here, I think. So it's the eighth over in America, though. Uh, so, yeah, you have a drinking game and just and sit there with the Rotten Tomato score, and you have to drink a bottle every time it drops down a, a rating. Oh, God, I'll fucking oh. die within the first 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> God, Cabby, uh, Cabby is okay, actually no trying shots. to kill me. <laughs> We're going hardcore. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see. I actually want to see if there's any updates on the Rotten Tomato page. I'm very curious. Yeah, and I have no good. idea what tonight's drinking game is going to be, so... Oh, God. Stay tuned for that at, at 9 o'clock. Oh, that's That'll be right. fun. Tonight's I think we're still. Drinking game. Yeah, I think we're I'm still simulcasting the Mad Dodge's channel. He's a cunt. So. Me. Well, do you yeah, actually going, want to fully shill that? Going our, uh... Oh, no, yeah. Exiled opinions. Exiled opinions. 
Yeah, Exiled Opinions, we re review movies, we review, well, there was that one time with Farty, we reviewed uh, Australian Wildlife, that was, that was fun. <laughs> Has anybody uh, seen Farty? I haven't seen him around for a few weeks. I think, I think the, I think the dingoes got him. It was a drop bear, we all know it. Oh, uh, yeah, it was probably yeah. the fucking drop bears. But yeah, no, we, uh, we review everything, and every Friday, it is the Rotten Tomatoes drinking game. We pick a movie, we go through audience reviews, and unless it's really good, we might re uh, read some of the articles that the critics put out, because they're fucking cancer. And we set some rules, and we get drunk, and we have fun with it, laughing at a bunch of stupidity. Left, right, doesn't matter. When we see stupid, you drink. <laughs> oh, dear oh here we go. Captain Marvel, part of the collection. Hmm, looks like Rotten Tomatoes might actually, uh, undercover be, uh, throwing, throwing some of that honest journalism out there. Oh. <laughs> Integrity? Oh, yeah, okay. we can totally trust the, uh, we can totally trust the Hollywood Reporter and shit like that, right? Oh, yes, yeah. no, no, the, the, they are the bastion of truth. <laughs> Tomato like meter not e available. Box, Audience yeah. score not yet available. Re reviews counted. <laughs> NA. User ratings. NA. No yeah. tickets or no showtimes actually being shown. Uh, special look. Trailer one, trailer two. Basically, all they have are just a collection of clips from the different trailers and then the trailers themselves. Wow, this is... Uh... <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, you're totally not a show website at all, are you? <laughs> wonder no, how much money never. Disney had to pay you. Right. Okay. So I'm sure somebody what? somebody got himself a nice little yacht out of it. Probably. So what is it? Are 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 us uh, passable and also white men not allowed to go see the movie, or or if we don't watch the movie, we're bigots? I, I'm a little confused. Yes, that's exactly. Um, it. We're not allowed to watch it, and if we don't go and watch it, we're bigots. Yeah. Uh, so weird. I'm sorry, guys. This confuses the ever living crap out of me. Like, what do you want? Dan, well, you can't make sense out of social justice warriors. Huh. Good God, man. They don't work on logic, they work on feels. It just feels right to say any old shite one day. That's all. You know? Yep. Fucking man. Jack justice. says you all got to read the new AOC, aka Bug Eyes, new comic when it comes out. Yes. Wait, are you serious, Auntie Jack? Are they doing a comic? Yes. It's weird. Really... They're doing. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? I gotta know. Who's the publisher? Ah, uh, I don't know. Sorry, dude. But I've seen the. They've... What I've seen of it is there's two um, covers. You got one of her more or less doing a Wonder Woman thing, and the other one where she looks more normal as much as she can. Kill. So okay, if it's I, if it's Antarctic Press, it's gonna be good because they're the same ones. Sorry to cut you off, Seth. They're the same ones that did the comic for uh, My Hero Magademia, where they're parroting uh, My Hero Academia, but with Trump and MAGA. And also, if I remember correctly, they're the ones that did the Trump Space Force comic, <laughs> oh God. which are both really fucking. They're fucking hilarious. So if it's no. them doing it, I think this would be a fucking amazing parody. But if it's not. I don't know. No, you didn't cut me off. It's fine. Um, Shirati, did you hear about that nonsense they're doing with? Uh, I, I don't know if you read those books or not. Are Are you a reader? No, no, I. Uh, no, I, don't, I don't have. No. I don't have books. I, I don't know. I don't know what books are. What are, What are hold books? On, hold on, woman. So, did you see what they're trying to do with the Babysitters Club? Book series, movies, whatever. Uh, okay. I haven't read a Babysitter Club thing in a long, long, long time. No, but apparently the Tom girl has to be queer. Oh, what the actual course. fuck? <laughs> yeah. So apparently a Tom girl definitely always is a lesbian. Um, no. Both of my sisters were tomboys, and they're not lesbians. 
Oh, that just reminds me. I'm going to have to add more things to my list. We got Iliad and the Odyssey, politically correct versions. I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do Huckleberry Finn. I'm going to have to do Tom Sawyer. I'm going to have to do The Great Gatsby. Uh, let's see. What else Yogi do you throw on this list? Kidding. Had to throw oh. that <laughs> Yogi Bear. Actually, no. Go politically on. correct Bernstein. No, the politically correct Bernstein Bears. That would probably be better. Urza oh Bernstein. no. Poli- <laughs> I need to do fucking Rocky and Bullwinkle. No, but you, if you do the Baron scenes, hold on, hold on. If you do the Baron scenes, you gotta do the sea monsters. The Mandala effect. Sorry. Oh Continue. yeah, no, I need, I need to do, I need to do Rocky and Bullwinkle because oh, the Russian collusion narrative. I there's so much I could do there. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Let's see. Oh, Moby Dick. Can't forget Moby Dick. What other classics am I forgetting? I could do War and Peace. But uh, I'll replace uh, Napoleon with Sense Hillary. and sensibility and sea monsters. Oh, that's Captain that Nemo. Down too. Twenty thousand leagues oh. under the sea. <laughs> yes, Sense that's and a, sensibility oh boy. and sea monsters. I could do a whole. Oh my god, I could do a whole fucking series on this shit and just self-publish yeah. it on Wattpad and Amazon and just sit back and laugh. <laughs> do it. Um, oh, I Goku. think I'm, I'm going to have to truncate a lot of these I stories because I'm not going to have enough time to get through all of them, but... Goku. I have uh, so I, many. If you, know, if you know I am big pentameter, you should try it. Have a crack at, um, you know, at uh, Shakespeare as well. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, wait. Jensen, did you say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Because I thought that's what I heard. <laughs> oh, but that'd be funny to tell. No, um, Ain't Jack has answered, apparently, Devil's Jew. Yes. What's hey, up, hey, are you doing, Hucky? Huck, buddy. Oh, Lord of the Flies. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, buddy. Devil's Do. What? What is Devil's Do published? Uh, let's see. I, I actually How just pulled up an you, article. Sugar. Uh, I'm doing good. I had to tune out earlier, not just because I was making dinner. You know, reading the Rapunzel thing, but. There is no fucking titties being talked about. There's no riding crops. What the kind of fucking story is that? That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so, okay, here, we go. here we go. I got a got an article for this. Alexandria Sasio Cortez is living every comic book fan's dream. Is she even a comic? book? What the fuck? No, no. Newly elected. You already, <laughs> failed. you already failed. You did not bring up tits, so I don't want to hear it. Aw, honey. <laughs> okay, here's here's this article real quick from. Uh, we brought up a chicken. WFMZ. I, I brought up a chicken. I brought up a goose. Um, I brought up a fox and set it on fire. You bring up a goose. Listen, I, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to be a part of fucking oh. amateur sloppy it's, seconds. Okay. It was uh, a goose. It was a goose who identified. You know you want to be part of my story time streams. <laughs> oh my have, god! Hold on, guys. Know, I gotta so. read this. Yay. I have to read this to you because you guys need to fucking hear this. This is. Oh, I need to make oh, fun honey, of this. Oh, honey, I am. I am playing with Ace right now. You are not on stream time. <laughs> uh, well, I'm reading this anyways. I'm reading this anyways because you're gonna have to fucking listen to it, no matter what. <laughs> Oh, actually, no. Just the uh, just the first two paragraphs, because that's really all we need. <laughs> <laughs> the newly elected U.S. Congresswoman stars as a sassy superhero in an upcoming comic book titled, and I quote, "Alexandria Sasio Cortez and the Freshman Force: New Party Who Dis." <laughs> Spelled exactly He's as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> in one of the just released book covers, Asasio Cortez stands over a knocked out Republican elephant while a God, Democrat really donkey looks on nervously in the background. <laughs> that has to be a keeper. I mean, that's a collector's piece, you know what I mean? People will buy it for shits and then throw it away. That will be worth a lot of money in the future. Dude, oh no, this gets better. Her superhero outfit is a white pantsuit and her gadget is a smartphone <laughs> through which she wields her 3.2 million Twitter followers. Another cover shows her in a Wonder Woman-like outfit. Oh my god. God, this is gonna be fucking cancer. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait, cabbage. Did you say that would be a lot of money? You know, later on down the road. What? You said that would be a lot of money later. I said it'd be worth street. a lot. You know, because people yeah. buy them for the fucking shits. You know, so, for the last, so but you keep one of those. And... 
few what? years down the line, some you know, it'll be a fucking train wreck. So it's going to be a comedy, you know. It's, it's yeah, funny. but I, I'm just wondering what what are you expecting uh. for the inflation price of toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> you have a point. Oh, well, you know, when society collapses, don't you see you're the stinking toilet paper, mate? But you got to look broader market. I mean, we're talking about roaches. You know, you got skins. Not roaches you are know? fucking food. Like, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> no, I'm talking skins, talking man. No, <laughs> the, the comic, skin you, food. skinning up, right? Skins. <sighs> you're the stinking that is toilet paper. There are other uses, man. I mean, you know, when the bomb goes off, the balloon goes up, and you know, the chips hit. So, you know, the oh, shit hits the fan. I mean, I guess when nuclear winter finally sets in, you can burn it for warmth. There you go. See, and you can't buy that kind of, you know, comfort. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I can't. <laughs> ripping, ripping a page off and just wiping her fucking face with my asshole. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely buy that. You see, that's the thing. A lot of people will do that, which will mean that you'll end up with a small amount of these things still left. And that's what makes value. Actually, I'm going to take you to a darker point now. Now think about when she dies, how much that's going to be worth. Exactly, that's what I mean. You see? Her worshippers will pay a fucking fortune well, for it. Well, we'll see, because I, I don't think she's going to last very long. I think she's going to crash and burn pretty quickly once, you know. Is, is, is she people, already? Uh, well, I hope so, but I don't know. Americans are odd creatures. Dude. Oh man, just thinking about Aww. it between IDW, between IDW, Marvel, DC, Vertigo, and this kind of crap, I could just collect issues of this shit and buy a small room in a museum and just line the walls with copies and just call it the room of political correctness, just so people can learn learn in the future what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just title the entire exhibit "What Not to Do." Or how not to how not to go broke. <laughs> a timeline. <laughs> Throw in a few graphs there, maybe some stock charts, some earnings reports. Just you know. Oh, I could buy some EA video games, some Bioware games too. Oh, I could like, <laughs> actually shit, shit. This isn't a, this actually might not be a bad idea. This oh, is gonna shit. be an art in, fucking... This is gonna be an art installation at the fucking Guttenheim. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a fucking picture of George Carlin up there. Oh wow! We yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, this started as a joke, it. but this actually might not be a bad idea. Well, I mean, think about it. George Carlin back in the day when, like, he was talking about what he fucking talked about during his comedy routines. He was a fucking Democrat through and through, but nowadays they would consider him a Republican slash alt right. Yeah, the goalpost didn't just move; it fell off a fucking cliff. No shit. Well, they're not it's using floating in the fucking. Anymore. It's floating in the fucking Indian Ocean somewhere next to uh, probably a lot of feces, maybe some plastic. Oh no, that's San Francisco. I forgot. Yeah. Well, all those, all those darn plastic straws. <laughs> As we have gone past the time, I am going to bring this to an end. I could chill anything before we go. Well, 9 o'clock, Exiled Opinions on this channel, and obviously our channel, will be the Rotten Tomatoes drinking game. I do not know what the topic will be, but if you want to drink some of your brain cells away and forget about how fucking upside down this horrible fucking world that we live in is, please join us. I never get invited twice. Well, you gotta right. join the he fucking Discord, you, Gabby, you, you lazy you bastard. Uh, Send me an invite, cool. fucking bastard. Well, Go to yeah. go to the Exiled Opinion. Go to the Exiled Opinions channel. Check the channel description. There's See, a link to the you, no, 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 no. You're asking me to do work. You send it well, to if me. You, and you wanted... then I just <laughs> quick. Ace, now you're asking me to do work. Like a Reddit. This is like a Reddit <laughs> entry now. It's fucking Reddit. You're going full Reddit. I'm I'm sorry. We haven't developed our commune yet. Uh, the socialist world order is not yet established, so I can't be bothered to Good do work night, until I get Jack. my. Till I get my paycheck at oh, least. All right, all right. Doku, 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 live a, leave a link.